Hey YouTube, this is Kirby3659 here, and today I will be showing you my five favorite Firefox add-ons. Um, these all, all of these add-ons should be compatible with all versions of Firefox. I'm not completely sure if they're compatible with all versions, but I know they're compatible with Firefox 4 and Firefox 5 because obviously I'm running Firefox 5 right now. Even though it looks a lot like Firefox 4, it's pretty much the exact same, except but a bunch of bugs have been fixed. <coughs> so anyway, if you want to, also if you want to download Firefox 5, the link will be in the description, along with the list of bugs that Firefox 5 has fixed from Firefox 4. I personally like it a lot more. It does not slow down my computer at all, and as far as I know, and it is much better, and it can finally run two browsers at the same time again. Yay! Because before when I had Firefox 4, I couldn't run... I could only run Firefox or Internet Explorer because it would slow down the computer so much. So anyway, you see here that I have um, five add-ons right now. It's because I have a lower-end computer, so I cannot... my computer cannot withstand too much. Plus, there are not too many add-ons I really find too useful. I mean, they're all you. A lot of them are very useful. Just I don't, I don't really. I could care less for them. But these are ones I really like. So anyway, let's go ahead and start from the top. This first one is all in one, all in one sidebar. Uh, it's a very popular one. You may be familiar with it. So I'm gonna go to the add-ons page just to show you. And I should have it here, here all in one sidebar, yeah. And you see it's right here. Click that. All right, and here it is. Uh, all in one sidebar lets you open various windows as sidebar panels and quickly switch between them, so it put an end to the window chaos. In addition to bookmarks and history, it opens dialogs such as downloads, add-ons, and more in the sidebar. So you can download it. Here is a image of it. You see, it's got these things here. All right, and you got more images and stuff. It also has a download manager, so instead of having a little window that pops up, you got it in here. So here it is. I've added a couple buttons, um, but default. It should have a couple more buttons. I took them. I took those buttons out because I didn't find them useful. So I and I put replaced them with these. So you see, you got this area. You got bookmarks. So instead of pressing Control B to open the bookmarks, it now opens the all-in-one sidebar version. And you got history. All right. And you got downloads. I cleared my downloads a while ago. And you got my, the list of the add-ons as well as themes, plugins, and stylish or styles, whatever. But I'll, I'll get to that um, one later. You got the multi-panel, which allows you to a lot of times see a tab that you've recently been been on. But I mean, you know, it's useful. But I just kind of took off the recent one. And you got the styles list close that and the, or, well this is stratiform and this is the styles so anyway you got you got this list and you can press this button way in the, in the far left or, and then it'll open this you can close this and just have these open all the time click it again click it again to um, close it and you can edit what side so options there's a lot of things you can do with it in general you can choose whether you want it to be on the left or right side I personally prefer the left side so anyway that's that it's a very good add-on I like it a lot and it is definitely compatible with all versions of Firefox I thought so yeah well it should there, maybe another version I know there I know there is one I've seen it but oh well Anyway, the link for that one will be in the description. Next one is auto copy. This one allows you to automatically copy selected text to the clipboard automatically, like Linux or Mac systems or um, uh, 
Ubuntu, I think. I'm not sure. So anyway, options. Paste on middle click. Um, you know, they have all these options. Um, I'm going to show you the about config configuration for middle click to paste things if you have a mouse, not a mouse pad. Alright, so um, kind of speed up the computer. Don't don't really need this checked if I can already do it. Deselect after copy, so you highlight something and it deselects after after it, which means you highlight something and it automatically copies. Then after you, it does that, you can choose whether to deselect it. Status bar button, so if you like it on the status bar. Auto copy context menu, and you got this stuff. Context area, edit, you know, bunch of stuff, keyboard shortcuts and stuff. So any, anyway, let me show you how it works. So I'll just I don't know, go go to Google and type in I don't know something. I'll just type in Google. All right, and let's just paste something in. You see that last thing I typed in was Firefox 4. I don't remember for what though. But anyway, so you can highlight this and automatically it's copied. Go to go to somewhere else, center click or middle click on the mouse and it pastes it for you. So instead of pressing control C, control V and everything. Much easier. Alright, and if you want to middle click to paste using about config, I'm gonna show you. About config. I say I'll be careful. And type in middle mouse. And you see middle mouse paste right here. You double click it. It sh it's automatically set to false. You double click it and it'll set it to true. Simple as that. I find it very useful. Kind of makes it faster. Next one is. Um, I'll skip these two. They take the longest. So next one is tab badge. <coughs> I'll, t I'll show you these later. So next one is tab badge. Um, simple. This just lets you know whenever you got a um, um, new notification or email Oops. on your email or Facebook or something so I'll just compose mail to myself and type in something something send and you see up here that you're just minding your business and then you see this little thing pop up that says I got one new email so that's simple that okay and I'm gonna take a short break, and now we can. I will come back. All right, so I'm back, and now I'll show you. Um, first, um, in case you're wondering how to add add or remove buttons from all in one sidebar, just um, well, and you can access from here. So go ahead and click this, and right click up here on the tab bar, or wherever you find it help uh, useful or whatever, and you can take buttons. Sim simple, j just like the regular way of doing it just um, dra click and drag buttons in or out you know blah okay as simple as that all right so that's how you use all in one sidebar and tab badge and auto copy next I'll show you stratiform so stratiform is I find it very useful and a lot of people would find it very useful for customization on the browser and the toolbars themselves and the buttons too so if you if you want to make your own theme basically, and it's basically like um, three or four add-ons mixed together in one, save some space, save some add-on room, uh, speed up the computer a little bit, keep it from being so laggy. So anyway, options, and it takes you automatically to new tab, Stratiform options, and it has tons of things here. Like here, um, you can change the way the buttons look. Right now I have Strata 50B on. So you can have like Windows 7 native, you can click that, and for example, uh, you have something and you want to and you want to see what the uh, I'm just gonna show you what the back button looks like. For example, like right now this is what it looks like, but with the Windows 7 native, and I have a few other tweaks too, so it might not look exactly the same as mine. You hover over it and it looks orange, like Windows 7 would do. Same thing as other Windows computers. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that back. You can also set the icons. So watch these, and default, default's not much different than Strata 40, wave, this is what wave looks like, I think it's kind of cool, the um, back and forward buttons, and Strata, right here, Strata 40, I just like this one. Um, the difference between default and Strata 40 is, 
um, default it has a little bit darker um, color scheme of the arrows and home button and stuff I like strata 40 a little lighter okay. text fields um, you can default looks like this a little rounded and everything strata 40 has a little shadow under it chromesque looks a lot like Google Chrome would look opera a lot like opera would look Windows 7 native, just a flat white bar, kind of like the style of this, looks pretty cool. And then you got Wave, the kind of dark, um, a kind of darkened bar, kind of looks like it's been pressed in or something. I kind of like Windows 7 native. And you can also change the background button for the color for the buttons. So right now it's set to um, something, I'm not totally sure. And there's also a reset button to reset to default, so you can change the colors. So now look, it's blue, pink, like this, and you can also change things like that, the opacity of it, how much you can see, the darkness, color, saturation, you know, that kind of stuff. Reset. And image, you can also have it, have the back and forward button have like an image in the background, which I don't like it too much. It, it doesn't really show much of the image, so that's kind of ignore it, but you can do that kind of thing, reset or browse border radius here you can see right now you can see it's really rounded and if you click this bar and drag it over you see that now it's square more square little, you know rounded and stuff miscellaneous um, style third-party extension icons so that basically like third-party extensions and everything it, it'll style the icons as well from it um, URL bookmark star position so right now it's over here you click this and it takes it over here. I kind of like it over here because I don't use it very much. Okay, next, we got a whole bunch of stuff. So we already went through all this. Next up here is tab bar. Same type of thing. Tab bar, you can change the opacity of it and see if it's transparent, dark, you know, different things like that. Tabs, you can change the style of the tabs, inactive tabs, selected tabs, the dimension, so you can make it longer or shorter. It doesn't really work good with the user style. Hold on. There we go. Alright, and now you can make it longer. Well, it did. Whatever. Either way, you can just change that. It works, for, it works though. <clears throat> you can change how long it is, the tabs are, you can change how high it, how high it is. Let's see, this is working. See, now it's really big. Reset. Alright, I think it's pretty cool. Miscellaneous style button apps like when the place got the start of the tab bar. So if you put a, if you if you use customize and put a button up here next to the tab bar, they they will be styled like the tabs are. Always place tabs in the title bar. So even if you pull it down, and it'll still be in the title bar. This is another add-on. You can find that in another add-on. So I kind of like that add-on bar. Same type of deal. I don't really mess with this. I don't use the add-on bar. Firefox button. You can change the color or the opacity of the Firefox button. You can make it totally transparent and see-through. And you can change if it's big or small, so miscellaneous. Default. You see this is the default. Let me refresh that. And here's the default. It'll be like that. I kind of like the always, which means it's a tiny icon. Kind of saves up some space in the tab bar. Alright, so anyway, that was Stratiform. Alright, so now I'm going to show you about Stylish. Um, I'm, I'm going to make this fast because I don't have a lot of time on this video. I bet. I've been talking a lot. So I'm going to make Stylish. <clears throat> allows you to style pretty much anything when it comes to websites or the browser style itself. Find them, you go to userstyle.org, link will be in the description so you can type things in. Basic stuff, when you mess with that, you can also get rid of um, ads on Google, YouTube, Facebook, you know, all the top websites you most likely be able to find them for. Speed up uh, the loading time of the website and make it look nicer, cleaner, whatever. So anyway, it's very useful, I like Stylish a lot. And it should, and it's compatible with all versions of Firefox. So, this has been Kirby365539. Comment, rate, subscribe, and thank you for watching.